Welcome ladies to routine number one. Started. make sure you do a three to five minute warm-up and we are ready to go we're starting with squats so come on down we're gonna be starting here for one minute one minute in your squat I'm gonna set your timer beautiful I have my gym boss timer here I'm gonna set that down I set it already to be at one minute intervals now in your squat you have the option to go full squat all the way down drop your hips nice and low remember keep your chest up shoulders are back if that's too difficult for you for whatever reason you can keep it at an air squat going about halfway down remember to engage your glutes as you go, and you're breathing, exhale. Oh yeah, starting to feel it. Starting to burn, let's go ladies. Burning fat, baby. Beautiful. Let's do this. So we're showing you two angles here so that you can see. Watch Sarah's knees, they, notice that they don't cave in. She's pressing pressure outward. She's putting maximum torque in the outside of her foot. This will help to engage the glutes, keep the core nice and strong, and keep your form super safe. Good. Now I'm showing you from the side so you can tell. Again, my knees are not passing out over my toes. My Ooh. heels are not lifting. Very important. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful. Next is the touchdown lunge. So you're gonna go down, reach up, switch feet, touch it, reach up. The advanced version of this, Sarah's gonna show you, is a crescent lunge into a pistol squat. So you're gonna stay low on the ground, lift your hips nice and high. Beautiful, push that foot through and lift up to bring it back in. Everybody else, remember that front knee always stays nice and stacked, right on top of your ankle. Your core stays solid. Beautiful, I'm not lifting my hips up, my hips stay parallel with the floor. Good, nice and squared. Beautiful, one minute here. Now we're alternating our legs. Work in the core, one fluid motion. If this is still too difficult for you, you can break this up a bit and bring your feet in and then stand up. Down you go, bring your feet in. If anyone's doing these with me, keep going, you got it. Those are super hard. Beautiful, okay, next exercise is the forearm tap. We're gonna come down into a downward dog position. Sarah's gonna go ahead, get started in the forearm tap, dropping the elbows and pressing the floor away in your down dog position. Everybody else, if that's too difficult for you, just walk your feet in up onto your toes here. Rotate your fingertips in towards one another and dip the crown of your head towards the floor. Your hands placement is right below your shoulders, okay? Make sure they're not out too far or in too narrow and you're breathing. Keep your belly button in, suck your low belly in, squeeze your abs as much as possible. If you're in those forearm taps, you're just tapping your elbow down to the floor, using the back of your shoulders to lift back up, as well as your lats. Those are the muscles right here under your arm. And if you need to, you know, always take a second and down dog. Breathe, breathe, but keep going. Keep moving, ladies. Almost there. Keep it strong. Keep going. Okay, the next exercise right away is the dip. Tricep dip, to be exact. We're going to come and do these over on the bench. Sarah's showing the advanced option here. To modify, you're just going to bend your knees and keep your knees stacked right over your ankles. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Let's do this. Just dipping it. Ooh, beautiful. So again, remember here, you always wanna have your torso as close to this bench as possible. Beautiful. Again, squeezing in my low abs. Once you get tired, you can regress the movement, or if you feel you need more of a challenge, you can straighten up those legs. We're here for one minute. We have about 20 seconds left. Triceps are be burning, baby. Burning, burning. Remember to keep your elbows in. Nice and narrow, hang in there, Sarah. So, if I come over here and I go in line with her shoulders, she's not gonna pass out or even touch my hands here. She's not flaring out to the side, she's keeping it nice and narrow. Got five seconds. Keep it up, ladies, Three, keep going. Two, and one. Beautiful. Ooh, shake it out. Next exercise right away, here we go. V-ups for one minute. Okay, Sarah's gonna show you the full V-up. And we are gonna go down to our modification. So level one, hands right behind you on the floor with your knees bent. It's gonna be kind of like a froggy crunch. If this, for whatever reason, hurts your back, just set down one foot and do one foot at a time. Do maybe like five here and switch feet and do five here. 
If you're ready to take it up to the next level, you're gonna straighten your legs, do the same things, tap your elbows down and tuck it in. This is very heavy lower abs. Otherwise, we're going full V up, all the way down, all the way up. Good, squeeze your legs. The more you squeeze your legs in together here, the easier this movement becomes. Look at your toes, point your toes, make it pretty, squeeze the quads, all the way through that. That one's a burner, nice work. You should be hopping and puffing, nice work. Take a break, 30 to 60 seconds, grab a drink of water, towel off, and do three more rounds. You can do it, keep strong, keep the form safe, and let's go. Make sure to check in with us when you're done by going over to the Facebook group and saying you did your workout for today. Nice work today, ladies. You crushed it. Let's do this.